think from the background, like the Snow Rovers have always been very much a, a working class team. A lot of the guys worked out the bush, worked in the mills. You know, that line of work, physical, hard physical work, sort of went and played at the Snow Rovers. Um, whereas the bank, bank people, the, the accountants, you know, the school teachers all tended to come to the Orvis Footy Club and uh, it, was, it was pretty full on rival. Friday nights, I think you would have found that the Rovers went up to the top hotel and the Orvis boys went down to the bottom hotel. You probably went to one butcher if he was a member of the Rovers or a member of the Orvis, so you went to him. But uh, it was really one-eyed football, wasn't it? We, we, yeah. <laughs> but then, once football was over, we were all friends again because we all live in the same town after all, don't we? And we all have to live here. Come on, Jimmy! Come on, Jimmy! <laughs> Saturdays, your friends became your enemies. Yes. And the barracking at the football, the Orbis used to be down one end and the Rovers would be up the other end of the ground. And, oh, no, never the twain should meet. Otherwise, it was on. <laughs> they started to talk about amalgamation. Some agreed, some didn't. At first, I was against it because, you know, you don't like giving up your main team. But eventually, we had to because we knew if we didn't join, we wouldn't have a team. Mainly because young ones were going away for employment, going to college. Uh, university and getting jobs. There's no jobs here. Everything was closing down in the town, so that's why we uh, sort of had to join up. Prior to the merger, the only times both clubs had full numbers were when we were playing each other. We, we, would, we would go away and play at Bansdale and you'd end up, kids would end up playing thirds, under 17s, and they'd play reserves. And uh, there'd be reserves players play reserves and then play seniors because you, you really struggled. And, you know, it's become quite embarrassing. A little bit like a religion. Um, you know, you're changing religion more or less, aren't you, when you're closing down one club and going to something different. And that's how it felt. And pr probably Rita felt the same. You know, you're losing all those years that you were with one club. It was hard at first. It was hard for me to go down into the Orbis sheds. But we've got over that. <laughs> just sort of assembled down at the club rooms on the Saturday morning and were given a choice of picking out a new um, shirt, the t-shirt, t-shirt with a emblem, new emblem and that on it. <laughs> we walked out arm in arm and they took our photos and everybody cheered us so we'd done the right thing. And they thought, well, you know, everything must be going to be all right. <laughs> All the mates that used to play against each other are all starting to come back and they're actually playing together and they're loving it. From a playing perspective, things are really positive and uh, I'd love to be part of the first part of success here and I'm hoping that comes sooner rather than later. <laughs>